South Texas really means to me family. Uh, I've been here my whole adult professional life and a number of other professors, all of us have been here really for 35 years uh, working together to see the school progress and grow. It's not just colleagues, they're really more like extended family members. I've now taught a, sort of two generations of students. I go to alumni events and sometimes people come up to me and say, I had you back in the you know, 1980s and now you're teaching my son or teaching my daughter. And that's just a wonderful experience to have. I entered South Texas in the midst of some drastic life changes and was really starting over. And I truly feel that South Texas afforded me the opportunity at a second chance of life. The experiences that I had here, the relationships that I built, and the successes and failures that I hear truly changed my life. And it changed my family's life. And now I'm in a position to change other people's lives and I'm forever indebted to the school for that. I have reported for jury duty and the judge has been a South Texas graduate. The prosecutor has been. The defendants, the plaintiffs, they've all been defended by South Texas graduates. And then I realize I'm screwed. I can't get out of jury duty because I know everybody in the courtroom. So it is a wonderful school that gives practical information to the people that can help the community. I have been blessed I was told you can teach anything in the intellectual property area you want to, as long as you teach contracts each and every semester. I've made some of my best friends in the world here at South Texas among the faculty and staff. I have helped thousands of students. I signed from my wife and my daughter, who's also an attorney and a South Texas grad. South Texas has meant more to me than anything in my life. My most cherished memory is being able to celebrate Lunar New Year this past year because I was able to transform our atrium into like a mini Asia. And it was because of the support of the school. I don't know any other school that would give us that same freedom, being able to celebrate so many different cultures. But it was also special because South Texas allowed me to extend those doors to my family. And I thought that was really special to me because there are sacrifices that you make here to go to school and to go to school with four kids and then to have them be here as well and witness like, my mom's really here and she's doing this thing, but she's also able to like bridge who she is as an individual, but also incorporate who I am culturally, how I identify, and then at the same time, get a legal education at 40. My purpose is rooted here because the same people who taught me took time uh, and energy out of the time they needed to to foster my development. And so now I know that it's my turn to do the same for other people. My most cherished memory so far at South Texas has to be when I got to travel for the moot court team. I got to go to Virginia Beach with my best friend and there we won the school's 140th national championship. I have a lot of cherished memories. On my 20th anniversary, I wanted to take off that particular Thursday to celebrate. And I was told I couldn't take off because uh, we had training. Their training turned out to be where some of the staff members from South Texas College had rented out the Bowling Alley Lucky Stripes and they presented me with a uh, my 20th year plaque. It really meant a lot to me to have been here 20 years because I think I'm probably one of the longest contractors that has been here at South Texas, so it really made me feel good. My most cherished memory here at South Texas would be when I gave the commencement speech at graduation as the first black valedictorian in South Texas history. It was an incredible moment for me and my family because of all the hard work, but to be honest, I don't cherish it because of the individual aspect. I cherish it because of the outpouring of love I got from alums from 20, 30, 40 years ago who explained to me what seeing me on the stage meant to them. And it just reaffirmed the familial aspect of the, the college and the fact that it was something that was bigger than myself. There was a time when we had a group called Women for South Texas and we would all get together and we would have these fabulous holiday parties. Everybody would get really dressed up, uh, the food would be fabulous, all the crystal and silver and everything would be out and you'd see all these beautiful children and I would read The Night Before Christmas, and that was so much fun. And I knew every faculty member's children, which was really wonderful. But now so many of them have come through my classes. 
That's probably one of the things I think back on and really treasure that I knew all of these children and have seen them grow up and seen them mature and see them in fabulous careers. It's really been exciting. My most cherished memory is a moment that I share with my brother at my graduation ceremony. He had graduated about three years uh, right when I started entering law school. He was on his way out. And throughout law school, I had the benefit of having him as my mentor and my rock and that person with the whisper in my ear, you can do it, keep going. There's a moment when you graduate where you get to choose an alumni or a faculty member or somebody who had a big impact in you. Of course, I chose my brother. At the graduation ceremony, after you get your diploma and walk down the stage, they hood you. And when he hooded me, I got really teary-eyed. We're both now attorneys and made our family proud, but it's something that we accomplished together. I know I wouldn't accomplish without him and my family, and uh, it was a beautiful moment for me. I'll always cherish it. My most cherished memory here at South Texas was definitely coaching my moot court team to their 133rd national championship here at South Texas. We worked so hard on that competition. Countless hours, we were here all weekend. None of us knew anything about intellectual property before we started, and seeing them win, seeing them bring home a championship was the icing on the cake, and it was a reminder that us giving back and us putting in our effort meant something for those students. When I dream of the next 100 years at South Texas, I envision a school that has even more diversity than it is today and building a community of people who will support each other in the legal field and be ready for practice. It's always something exciting and I love it because there's something new every day, whether it's connecting with new students, new visitors, or connecting with old alumni. Every day is a cherished memory here at South Texas. Happy Centennial, South Texas. Here's to 100 more. Happy 100, South Texas. Happy Centennial, South Texas. Happy 100, South Texas. Happy Centennial, South Texas. Happy Centennial, 100 years of fabulous things. Happy 100 years of doing many, many things better than anybody else does them. Congratulations. Happy Centennial Year, South Texas. Happy 100th, South Texas. You don't look a day past 99. Happy 100th anniversary of South Texas College of Law. South Texas, here's to 100 more.